Good day, thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and this is So Much to Say YouTube TV. These are my thoughts in my voice on black shit, white shit, gay shit, and everything in between. Now, So Much to Say YouTube TV is the place that you come to learn and grow. So go ahead and hit the like button, the share button, and the subscribe button. And turn on that little bell so that you get a notification every single time that I go live or I upload something new. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So we, they asked me how did I, when did things start turning around for me? And the girl who was on the phone, she was in like Detroit. Mm -hmm. And she was on the phone and, and I was like, hi, you know, I, and I was about to go in. I was like, I don't know what's going on with this bill. I said, but I need y'all to take this stuff off and credit it. Da, da, da. I said, cause I didn't request all of this stuff. I used to work for the internet company and I know how the people in the phone department do. They'll add on all these services mm -hmm. cause they're gonna get a commission. And by the time you catch it, they would have already gotten their commission check. So, I was telling her all of this, and so she wasn't, I didn't feel like she was really engaging me. I didn't feel like she was really listening to what I was saying, because she was very quiet. She was taking it in. No, that bitch was like, excuse me, I don't mean to be um, unprofessional or anything, but have you ever heard of the Queen's Court? Because it was called the Queen's Court then, it wasn't called the Queen's Supreme Court. Uh-huh. And I paused. <laughs> this is the first time that anything like this had happened to me. And I paused, and I was like... Yeah, I'm the showrunner. She said, oh my God, girl, everybody guess who I'm talking to? This bitch tells, she yelling in the call center. <laughs> Fuck what you just did about taking this out. She ain't heard nothing I said. So she looking at my account, she sees my name, she sees my address, she see I'm in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And so of course Madison is just saying Craig, Craig, Craig. And of course I'm talking to her over the phone. So she's like, Guess who I'm talking to on the phone? And so she talked to the people in the call center. She said, oh my God, I am so sorry. She said, but we're sitting here watching the show right now. Like they were watching. They supposed to be fucking working. Right. Like they do. And she said, I kept looking at your account like, Craig, he's in Atlanta. This is probably him. And then I remember by the time we were touring the show, we were down in, um, I think we were in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And... We were in Whole Foods. Madison wasn't with me. It was, and I was at the counter. And I'm just ordering, and this woman comes and taps me on my shoulder. And I turned around. She said, "I know who you are." She said, "You work with T.S. Man, right?" She said, "You work with T.S. Madison." I said, "Yeah." She said, "You're crap." I said, "Yeah." She said, "Oh my God, I thought that was your voice." <laughs> that was when things started to turn around, and then because Kaya was gone. Mm -hmm. It was just me and Madison. Well, y'all was on a different platform than us then. Y'all had changed the whole dynamic we, of the show. Because she said to me, I want to change the direction. She said, what do they call it? Roasting and gagging or something. She said, I don't want to do all of that anymore. She said, I want to change it. And I just want to talk about what's in pop culture. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to read people. And, and then we used to start figuring out who was going to be on the show. And so she would talk to me more mm -hmm. during the live, especially if there was a guest, because we had rotating guests. And especially there was somebody on there who didn't perform like oh, we thought. Stiff. They were stiff and dull. She'd be talking to me. Craig, what, what, what's that? That Like the person be sitting right there beside her. You don't even see me. I'm passing her props or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so she's talking to me. And, you know, every now and then she turns to the person. Like so then she would start letting me promote my book. You know what I mean? So that's how things start. And so it just paid off. So even though she wasn't paying me more money per mm -hmm. se, mm -hmm. well, she did once we started going on the tour, like I said, because I was getting a percentage. But she wasn't necessarily paying me before we went on tour, like more week to week. But because she would let me run my commercials during the live, mm -hmm. or you we would talk it. about the book. Yeah, it would compensate in that way. What happened was we got into it something terrible in Houston. I said, girl, after this show, I'm done. I'm and, and this was actually over text. It was over the phone, and it was over text. Oh, I know what it was. I almost forgot what it was. Yeah. But she was resolute. She was, like, digging her feet. She even went as far as posting something on Instagram and talking she needed an assistant. I screenshotted. I said, I said, bitch, you can ask for an assistant all you want. Bitch, I'm not an assistant. <laughs> and, I and she came, and she said, Myrtle, um, is my eye written? Now, bitch, we done argued and carried on all morning. Over the phone. She goes, Myrtle, is my eye red? Uh, something going on with my eye. Like, I said, mm -hmm. I said, no, it's fine. I said, it's a little pink, but it's not bad. And I said, okay, well, here's the green room right here. I'm telling her, you know, because I'm already at the venue. Even when we did the Dominican Republic, I flew in the day before. All, all, all of that is also to get your attention, honey. She, so listen, she oh, she had my attention. And she was going to have my absence, oh, too. My so she said, Myrtle, come on, let me talk to you. So she said, just me and you. So we went and we sat and talked. 
And she said, Myrtle. Thank you, friend. Myrtle. <laughs> And I'm gonna go ahead and be transparent with y'all. I don't, you know, I don't usually talk about dollars and cents. Uh, she just, she just shoved this up. She calls everybody Myrtle. Yeah, okay. Um, she said, um, she said Myrtle. Oh, I, 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 I don't know. The bitch was a believer then. Yeah. She called me one day and was like, Myrtle, where you at? I said, girl, I got a substitute teach today. It was a Monday because we only did we only did the show on Mondays. Mm -hmm. I said, but you gotta work today. I gotta go. She said, well, how much they paying you over there at that school? <laughs> but that that argument in Houston, it definitely it changed things, and we just and it just became more collaborative, and we would just talk about stuff. Okay, well, what do you think? She'd be like, Myrtle, what do you think about this? So she'd be like, well, who do you what do you think about this person? And some of those people that she would send me as guests mm -hmm. for the show, I'd be like, I don't even know who that is. Every now and then, but usually it was somebody that I. How were y'all getting guests? How was guests being solicited? I would I would reach out to them. But how would you pick the people? We would both come up with, like, I, it was my idea to bring Sophia. It was my idea to bring Lonnie B. She, it was her idea to bring uh, Chrissy, who'd be like, come on out, who did the commercial for my book. Okay. Craig, come the fuck on out. That was Madison's suggestion. So, like, we, it was just back and forth. She wanted Messy C. Um, she wanted Perez. Like, Tiffany Pollard, New York. Uh -huh. She set that up. Okay. Um, so every now and then it was, she was like, oh, Craig, oh, Flame Monroe was somebody that she had already talked to. And was like, Flame is going to come. You know what I mean? I was like, okay. But usually she'd be like, Craig, reach out to such and such. And then I, and even if she made initial contact with them, then I would take over. And you reaching them out on Instagram? Instagram. Or well, sometimes it was their phone number. She'd give me their phone number. Gotcha. Okay. And then I'd reach out. I'd set up the flight, set up the hotel. That's how I met Keon, because Keon worked at that hotel. Gotcha. But she knew that hotel. She was choosing a hotel. She would go, she would meet them there to, close to, the house. to check them in. And then Keon started coming to the show. And then I met Keon at the show. We flew out to California. And uh, I bought my own flight out there. That was for, um, they paid for the hotel. Um, but that was when we did a, it was, it, we, we did like a pilot. We mm -hmm. shot like a pilot. Mm -hmm. And that was what they used to pitch to we TV, and then like a year or so after that was when the reality show came. Okay, you guys have been asking me about the sea moss. Okay, here it is. Here's the plug. It is www.behadybloom.com. And if you use promo code CTWS, you'll get 10% off every single time you order. There's a variety of flavors, everything from mango to strawberry to green apple to pomegranate. It is there. Go on over to the website, www.behadybloom.com. This product comes directly from St. Lucia. Quite frankly, this is the first time I've had sea moss that doesn't taste like algae. Sea moss is great for improving energy levels, joint pain. Oops, yes, I dropped that. Removing inflammation from the body. And yes, it's perfect for the entire family, even the children. This really is the first time I've had sea moss that doesn't taste like a sea creature. You know that fishy taste. Yeah, it doesn't have that. But listen, follow her on Instagram and Facebook. You see it. And that's why I look at TV so differently now. Uh -huh. I was telling Felicia this last night. I was talking to Felicia. Uh -huh. We were talking about Love is Blind. And I was saying, I can look at that and tell it's how they I set up certain it. things. Yeah, just because I've seen it now. It's they, they, they would be riding behind us. And especially like when I watch the Kardashians. Like when they're in their car, I'm always seeing like the vans behind their trucks mm -hmm. driving. Mm -hmm. You know. But when, we're, when, we're in the when we were driving, even like when Legger and I were in my car, they were riding beside us. And they would tell us not to move too fast. Don't let your, don't let the van that we're in get too far past your right fender. Okay. Or they'd be behind us. They'd be like, we're going to circle again. And they had like a walkie-talkie in the car. Okay. So we could hear them. And they could tell us what they needed to say. They said, okay, right now you need to have a conversation about the show. What's going on with the show? You need to tell Allegra. You're conveying to Allegra. Gotcha. They wouldn't give me talking points. I mean, they would give me talking points. They didn't give me dialogue. They would say, talk to her about the show. Like, what's going on? And so then I would just... Start talking. Okay. And then, uh, and then they say, okay, okay, we got that. Okay, now you need to talk about such and such. You know what I mean? So then we, they would just give us scenarios. Well, the, it, did y'all have a meeting where y'all discuss what the talking points are going to be for the show? Well, before you come to set, they email all that shit. They say, Craig and Madison working out. Gotcha. Um, da, 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 they're discussing this. Or Craig, Madison, and Oliver at Oliver's house, and they're discussing this. Okay. So they, they give you um, a the call sheet. Of what, yeah, okay. they give you the call sheet. Okay. And you know who's going to be working that day. There were days that I didn't have to film, that they did have to film. Madison, of course, had to film more than anybody. Uh-uh. What is that? That's a what was that? What was that little around the world? That was around the world, huh? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Finger like that. 
like this. And them, them dimpled cakes. <laughs> them dimpled cakes. I, we were on our way to the gym, and so he was following me. Uh -huh. And they pulled me over and told me I had to get out of the car. And Terrence, who lives in California, uh -huh. was like, you need to um, talk about it on your live. You need to talk about... And this is before, like... They used to, they, this is before they used to send me cash apps or anything now, like that. Were you that. comfortable even discussing that on the live? I, it hadn't even crossed my mind to talk about that. To share. You wouldn't share. Right. No. I would share stuff, but it wasn't nothing that personal. Yeah. Because there were times where I had a car and Terrence didn't and then vice versa. But at this moment, he had a car. So he came pick me up and we were going to get something to eat or wherever we were going. And um, he said, I mean, you don't you don't seem to be worried about your cars over Terrence. What the fuck am I gonna do? I ain't got no money to get it. There ain't shit I can do about it. What's the what's the point of fretting? And so he said, You right well, I mean for real. You know, and I'm laughing because I'm thinking like Terrence. That's why I say yeah, because, because I'm thinking the same way. Like this I was trying to have a plan. Like you know, you should talk about this on your lot. You know, Terrence actually Since you're that cool and calm. Right. Terrence actually started calling them pen pals. He the one gave them that name. Oh, I didn't really? I didn't even come up with that. But he said you need to talk about it on your live. He said cuz it's probably somebody on your live that's going through something and you know the way that you handling this could probably help them. Correct. And I said stress over. And I said yeah, that's true. I don't want that. It's not done enough. I don't like the way it look on this side. That's just the skin. I understand. Did you put your lips on there? No. Fucking fish. He rich now. Go ahead and finish telling the story. This is no salmon and trash. These pen pals. Yeah. Pen pals. Oh, so, so, so again, and I didn't have a lot of viewers at the time. At this time, I probably, I don't even know if I had 100 people watching me. But I know my originals. You know what I'm saying? Like, Marie. What? This bitch gonna say, because I wasn't watching. But it's rare that she has to change that in there. But that's what I told Jack before you came. He was talking about house keep weeds in the back. I said, they don't clean everything every time. That's what I'm saying. So you're going to clean this fucking bar card. And I felt like it was pulling me away from promoting my book because I wasn't really selling a lot of books at the time. I felt like it was taking me away from my own dreams and my own goals. And I remember when I was working with Dwight Eubanks from The Housewives. Oh, what'd you do for him? I, I did a trailer. It's over there on YouTube too. If you type in the Purple Door Salon. Oh, I remember um, that trailer. Yes. And I was like, okay, this is gonna be my shot. This is gonna be my shot. This is before I ever wrote any books. Please. They wanted, the, the, the contract was structured. And I told them, I said, listen, I, I gave a lot of my time and energy for this. I said, but if I were you, I wouldn't sign that contract. Cause basically the only. So he Why is my phone not ringing? Hello? He's on the phone not ringing. I said, I just happened to look down and saw you were calling, but I don't know why my phone, um, it ain't on Do Not Disturb. I'm gonna have to power this bitch off. Mm. No, my, my friend that's a chef cooker. Did you ever meet Jack? You met Genesis? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have an app that I'm doing for my greeting card business. Yeah, you're talking about that. Right, so it's gonna be ready and, and right. And, 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 and the, it started, it was initiated by this girl in North Carolina. Her name is Shakika. It's good for lowering your blood yeah. pressure. And, if you uh, have that as a problem. And so I called her. Some of us and, uh, my bowl and uh, I was telling him, I said, I don't I don't think I'm gonna I said, I, I think I'm gonna tell her I can't do this anymore. Well, and he said to me negotiate. Well he said to me, he said, Craig, just hang in there with her. He said, just hang in there with her. He said, you know, she'll take care of you. Just just hang in there with her just a little bit longer. I don't know what made him tell me that. Ever since that lady got me for that thirty dollars that time. Wait. She ended up taking me on that reality show with her and Alexa. Oven to 375, girl. <laughs> so, oh. Thank you. Preheating oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Alexa, like, bitch, we're in a black house. Because <laughs> the, the white people don't talk to me She's like this. Good day, thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and I'm inviting you to join my Patreon. Don't know what a Patreon is? It's my official video diary with only exclusive content that you won't see anyplace else. It's easy to join. Just visit patreon.com forward slash Craig the Writer Stewart. Here's what you'll find on my Patreon. A day in my life, whether that's dinner with friends or a typical work day. Live Q&As with members of my Patreon about each episode of the T.S. Madison experience and what I was really thinking. I'll even bring you on vacation with me. The video will make you think that you are right there. And last but not least, for all of my aspiring writers, I give you first-hand, one-on-one, personalized attention. 
answering all of your questions about publishing and self-publishing. So what are you waiting for? Join now. Swipe up or visit www.patreon.com forward slash Craig the Writer Stewart. I'll see you soon. Oh, and one more thing. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash Craig the Writer. Do it now.